I am back today with another high value optics option and this thing has blown me away for the quality and price. This is the brand new 34 millimeter Continental from Vector Optics. It also comes in this very interesting colorway as well as black and a few other ranging reticles. So if there's something that you like about this optic but want a slightly different reticle, there's still options out there for you. The other cool thing about this optic is the fact that since Vector Optics sent it out to the channel, they put this exact one on sale for my viewers. So if you decide you like it at the end of the video, you can jump over there, grab it, and save yourself some money. They also created a code 704 Tactical for 10% off anything off their Vector Optics store, and that's available anytime, not just on this optic. So definitely take advantage of that code if you decide you want to grab something. This is awesome. I specifically requested this exact model with this ranging reticle for a few projects I had coming up, and the first thing I did was throw it on this Precision 223 upper assembly. Now, generally, something like this magnification would be perfect for a 308 or 65 Creedmoor, especially long range shooting, but I really wanted to understand the reticle and run a ton of rounds through it, and Callaway Ballistics makes that possible. They're always sending out ammo to the channel for us to use, they also have the coupon code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200. And since they sent a lot of it out, we can run a lot of it through this particular setup. The other thing is I'm doing reviews on this Bear Creek Arsenal upper assembly. I also have the code with BCA at 704 Tactical for 5% off your Bear Creek Arsenal order. So everything just kind of added up to build out this setup. And I was shooting under inch groups at 100 yards all freaking day and getting close to half inch groups with this basic off the shelf Callaway ballistics with this upper assembly. So it felt like a great pairing between a high value build and a high value optic. Now, this optic is high value, but it's not cheap. The price comes in at about $849. But before you click away, they've put it on sale again for my viewers to 806. Add that 10% off code 704 Tactical on Vector Optics 2007's website, and it comes out to about 725. Inside the box, you also get a sunshade. You get these lens covers that are pretty slick. They're the clear versions. And you also get 34 millimeter rings inside the box, so everything you need to mount it up to a bolt action rifle or an AR. Now I choose to use the offset platform, and what we're looking at here is one of the new Monstrum Tactical offset ring sets. All this information will be in the description below, but I like doing that offset because it sets it a little bit further forward for the proper eye relief on the AR-15 platform. And that is all the housekeeping for this review. Let's talk specifically about this optic and why I like it and all the specs and features that really make it worth so much more than the 725 after all the discounts. The first thing I want to say is if you covered up the Vector Optics name and you threw some other premium, maybe $15,000, even $2,000 optics or $1,500 or $2,000 optics side by side and did a blind test, I would be hard pressed to really tell the differences between some of them. You are getting a ton of value for the money. And the first thing I want to say is this is a 34 millimeter tube. It's a 4 to 24 zoom, and it's a first focal plane optic, meaning as you zoom in and out, the reticle gets larger and smaller, making it perfect for all of your ranging applications. So that's going to be key when you're considering uh, using something like this for long range precision shooting. The first thing you notice when you pull this out of the box, besides all the goodies that you get inside the packaging, 
is the fact that the build quality is absolutely spectacular and the presentation is second to none when it comes to an optic in this price point. They really blow me away at the quality and performance, especially at that price. Now, there are other few high value and budget companies that are review on the channel. Um, this one is good. This one is really good. The Continental is no joke when it comes to build quality, so let's talk a little bit about that. At the front, you do have that 56 millimeter objective lens that transmits the light amazingly through that 34 millimeter tube. In fact, with the glass they're using, they're actually using German HD glass, they're getting 90% transmission through that system, which is impeccable, especially for twilight and dusk shooting. The other cool thing about this optic is it is illuminated on the side and it's got really nice cutouts on the illumination. It's got an on and off position on in between each of the illumination knobs. Uh, one complaint though is the illumination is just a little bit stiffer than I would like, but that's really not that big of a deal. Like I can overlook that, especially at the price of the optic. I'm nitpicking a little bit also because of the price of the optic. This is not a two or $300 optic. Again, it's 725, so it's gotta be good. So that's why I'm kinda, it's a little bit stiff. Moving over to that adjustable knob on the side that's going to give you your adjustable parallax. It goes anywhere from your, looks like 15. <laughs> I was just thinking 25 in my mind, um, but 15. That is awesome, all the way out to infinity. Now your parallax is going to be good because you're gonna to need to adjust it for whatever distance you're shooting at. That makes your, your reticle a little bit clearer. It adjusts your parallax, your side-by-side, -side, your shift. So that's nice that they have that located on the side. So if you did wanna just kind of plink around with it at 15 yards, you could absolutely do that and not worry about your parallax or your reticle focus. So that is pretty freaking awesome that it goes from 15 to infinity. The other cool thing about the build quality and the overall performance of the actual user interface of this optic is the fact that the turrets are very nice. The clicks are audible and tactile and they're locking turrets. The other nice thing about this one is they're locking turrets, very nice clicks and adjustments, but it's got a zero stop and it's one of the easiest zero stops to set. Now, I do want to mention about this, I'm not going to be able to take this apart and show you on camera because of um, YouTube's policies always shifting and changing their minds on things, but you can just unthread the top of that with a provided tool. You flip it over and there's literally an internal ring attached to this. You just rotate that ring until it stops and then that sets the zero stop. It's the simplest zero stop I've ever seen ever on an optic. Then you just kind of line the zero up with a, not a notch on the back. You slide it back on and boom, you pull it up, you adjust it how you want, hits your zero stop. And if you want to readjust it or reset the zero stop, just take it off and do that. So that is pretty awesome. The zoom knob on the back is nice. You can see it flows very nicely and everything about those cuts and grooves is pretty slick. And again, we are talking four to 24. That's also what makes this incredibly unique at the price point. The fact that you get a four to 24 zoom is freaking awesome. Back in the day, a lot of times you would get four to 12, four to 16 if you were pushing it, and maybe even like a four to 20, but four to 24 is awesome. It gives you the versatility of shooting up close if you're maybe hunting a deer or coyote at 50 to 60 yards and it's going across a field and you want a wide field of view. You can zoom that out to the four power setting and just really understand where it's going, your surroundings, and get a good field of view to see you know, where it's going and even to lead your target. But you can zoom it into the 24 power setting to make shots at a thousand yards, no problem, and the glass can absolutely handle that. Now, one slight complaint about this optic, and again, I'm nitpicking a little bit, but I do want to bring it up with the builds quality, is the fact that the anodization isn't perfect. You can see the anodization shift colors throughout the optic, and it feels a little bit cheap. You can even see the anodization differences between that end cap and right here, and you can see the anodization differences between uh, just a few different components. Now, is that a deal breaker? Absolutely not, but I do want to bring up every subtle thing about this optic because a lot of times I'm reviewing two and three hundred dollar optics. So for 725, I do want to mention those subtle differences, but the build quality itself is absolutely spectacular. Now the fact that we know all about the optic and its specs and features, let's talk about things that are hard to describe on paper, and one is the eye box and eye relief. 
The eye box and eye relief is how far away from the optic or close to the optic you can be, left, right, up and down before it starts to black out. And this one is incredibly forgiving, especially at that four power setting where you would really want it to be. If you were in a tree stand or a deer stand, you would be moving your head left and right, trying to get your rifle in the position, maybe resting it on the deer stand itself. Having that bigger eye box and eye relief is going to be key and it works out great. It's got a very large eye box and eye relief. The whole tube itself is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. And again, I already mentioned that German HD glass. But that 90% light transmission is something that's hard to describe until you look down it at twilight and dust settings and really understand how much longer you can use this during the day um, before you just can't use it anymore for that light transmission. So it really works out well, especially with that illuminated reticle system. It is pretty slick. Now I do want to mention that reticle system, that mill-based reticle system. What we're looking at here is this ranging reticle system. It's a little bit hard to see here, but if you head over to their site, you'll be able to check that out. But it's got a ranging tool located on the side, which is pretty freaking sweet, and a Christmas tree style reticle system with leader lines. As you can see, the leader lines on the side are very large. So with the four power setting, those are easy to make out, easy to shoot your target, easy to hit your target. But when you zoom in, those disappear and those finer lines become thicker because this is a first focal plane reticle system allowing you to take precise shots. The center of the reticle system is almost a false center with a very fine dot. So it's never gonna cover up your target, never gonna wash out your target. It's going to be great. And the illumination only actually illuminates the center crosshair, which is nice. So it's not super distracting. Not sure if I forgot anything about this optic, but again, a ton of list of detailed specs and features are available on Vector Optics 2007's website. It's awesome. I like it. It's affordable compared to some other premium models and you will be not disappointed in the quality of this optic. I've fallen in love with it and I'm definitely gonna be getting some other Continentals out to the channel if they'll send them over. I'm gonna put in my request as soon as I'm done editing this video because I think they're worth it. I think you guys will like it and I think it's gonna save you a ton of money over other options. Thanks for watching, have a good one.